Every mission starts with a vision. Ours is simple and powerful. Break new ground in bringing connectivity where it's needed most. At Viacet, we attack very, very, very hard problems. But the harder the problem, the fewer people that can do that, and the more interesting it is to us. The story of Viacet as a whole is a great story. We enable connectivity. We say connecting the world, but that has a number of different meanings depending upon the type of customer you are. From an end user like you or me sitting at home needing connectivity to do our homework or to the connected passenger in an aircraft to the vice president, the president of the United States. Our government customers are global customers. They go wherever they're needed and they want to have the same type of capabilities everywhere they go. For over 35 years, we've worked tirelessly to get to where we are today creating satellites with greater capacity to carry more data and handle higher speeds. We've heard a lot of people say, it's impossible to do what they're talking about doing at Viasat. You know, a terabit satellite, it's not gonna happen. And so I'm really excited to say, that's not true. In just a few minutes, we will launch the world's highest capacity single satellite into geostationary orbit. With this launch day, we are entering the Viasat 3 era. We have our first one going up over the Americas. Flight 1 enables us to bring connectivity to the markets here in North America and in South America. The exciting part of Viasat 3 is the fact that it's not just one satellite. By deploying three Viasat 3s, we will have a near global network that can provide services to virtually the entire Earth. One of the features you'll notice is the very large solar arrays. These enable us to generate well over 25 plus kilowatts of electrical power on orbit. That allows us to generate huge amounts of capacity that is then usable on the ground. The enormous capacity of ISAT-3 isn't worth nearly as much if that capacity is stranded in areas where there's no demand. Most of the people in the world only live in a very small fraction of the Earth, yet we still want to be able to connect those people when they move from place to place. Viset 3 is designed to move our capacity to where the demand is. Our ability to move that bandwidth around and really service those dense spots, that's what our customers are looking for. It's not just evolving, it's really like a revolution making these big leaps in technology. Then that's, that's cool. <laughs> If you look at the progression from Viasat 1 to Viasat 2 to Viasat 3, Viasat 3 is actually the smallest satellite we've ever built, despite the fact that it's got multiples of capacity. We took things that were twice the size of a human and brought it down to barely the size of a shoebox. The satellite design process is no longer buy parts and boxes and, and hook them up. What we wanted was to invest in technology that can really scale. It's not just a new satellite design, it's a new way to build satellites. We've had to reinvent all parts of the system. I want to thank everybody at ISAC for their role in what we're about to do today. And of course, I want to thank our partners at Boeing. We wouldn't be where we are today without their support. Many of us have spent several years working on this Viasat 3 Flight 1 America's satellite. Today is the day. With the Viasat 3 constellation, Billions of people can access more of the world, unlocking opportunity for everyone, everywhere, starting now.